So what I've done here with this room is we've ripped off the texture of 111 here. As you can see, it's still on here and we're ripping it off this. This wall will be gone soon, so we're getting off just the texture 111. Uh, we've already ripped it off this side. Now we can see what's going on inside the structure. I'll put a little light on here. Let's see a little bit better. And so we'll be able to see um, exactly what's going on. We'll be going to put a laminate post up high there. We're going to be raising these up and taking all our windows out in the next phase. As you can see today here, we've knocked out this wall. Uh, we had a couple of temporary posts just holding any weight. We're going to be putting a laminate beam in here, and two laminate posts in each side here. Um, we also knocked some of this out. We're going to be putting a laminate post right here. Uh, above, as you can see, we've also opened this all up. Um, we're going to be putting a rail across. But once you, this is all open with glass, you'll be able to see right out to the lake out there, which will make that really nice. Uh, we will be adding a laminate post here and here, and then a laminate beam across for the sliders. So I'll show you that as that progresses. But tomorrow we plan on trying to get the beams in each side here, and the laminate beam up also. And uh, if we can get the laminate beam on here, that would be great. All right. All right, as you can see now, we've put a laminated post with two laminated beams, the 10 inch by two inch. We have another post right here that basically replaces all the texture 111 that we have here. Um, and that just opens it right, right up. Now, on this side, we've bolted these two posts together, which supports this corner, so you're just going to make it more secure. This originally was a porch, so it wasn't too secure to, to the uh, house. Then here, that's supporting here. As you go along, we're going to be putting two new posts here. These temporary beams here are for when we take this part of the house out. We jack underneath, cut out, and then it, it's going to be supporting the front of the house. What we're doing now is putting a double beam uh, in the front, and so we only did, did a single. We're going to double that out for extra strength. Um, and so we're just getting ready for that portion. And uh, yeah, so that's what we've got going on so far. All right, today we're going to be putting one of the LVL beams in, the uh, five foot. It's going to be starting this corner, going to here. We're going to have a post. So we're taking these windows out, taking these bottom windows out, opening this all up, putting the post in today. We have our support beams here. It's going to go with support. And then we're going to be you know, two by four that's going to go underneath. That's going to be taking a load off. So that's the project for the day. Once we get that secure, then we can do the large 16 foot LVL beam. All right, I'll uh, keep you up to date on it. Okay, so we have our laminated beam in. Um, we have a double two by nine and a half laminated beam going across, it's connecting to this point. Um, then we have a four by four laminated post in the center, bringing down the weight. We're going to be putting windows on each side of that. Um, we're also going to be replacing this post right here. But today we basically got the beams up that is fully leveled. Uh, the weight's coming down right now on top of that beam. And you see we put some shims under there. Um, and we have these boards connecting across, so it won't allow it to shift in or out. And uh, that was the project for today. Okay, so what we've got so far is we have the laminate beam in. I've cut out all the old braces, as you can see. Um, we have this side is uh, sheeted. The sheeting here, three quarter inch. Um, this is eight feet wide and the height is six feet, eight inches. Um, I've put some sheeting up here just so we can keep the inside here warm. Um, as you come over here, we have this sheeted. Pretty much the entire front is now sheeted, sheeted with three quarter inch um, and some texture 111 pieces that we didn't need to cut off. We're gonna be at the very last minute taking a sawzall and cutting out 
any extra sheeting and then we're going to be covering that um, as you can see we put some double 2x4s up here that's for the support for the windows and um, I'm going to go upstairs here in a second so I can show you what we've done up upstairs here we've done double right here with the 2x8 and that is going to allow us to put some pine board on top of here and um, cover that up. We're also going to be insulating um, this right here and um, putting some ridge vents in up here and some soffit vents. As you can see I've taken this whole wall out and that's going to allow us to put a uh, little banister here and we'll be putting some boards going across um, probably unfinished um, pine going across here just to add some extra strength. So um, yeah, that's about it so far. So today we're going to be doing some insulation. As you can see we have our air vents going up to the ridge vent from the soffit vent. I'm just going to let that air travel along the inside so we don't have any mold uh, on the boards. And so we just started here been doing one row, insulate, doing the next row. Um, we have all the sheeting done. We've also ripped out our kitchen over here. Uh, there's really not much left of the kitchen. We've expanded on this door here. Um, so this is much wider now. We have to clean up the wiring a little bit. We have that open, the panel open right now. Um, and we'll be doing sheetrock. We open up the ceiling up here also. Just give a nicer, wider feel for, for, to uh, when you first walk in. Get a nice wide feel. And uh, but that's going to have to be cleaned up. And then we're cleaning this up also. Kitchen's totally out. Um, and we've taken out the toilet. And we're going to be taking out the vanity also. So, and we're also going to be taking these stairs out soon too. Okay, we have the heating pretty much done here. This is pretty much the rough opening size, correct? Um, I added some shims up here just to get it eight feet exactly. It was uh, eight feet one inch over there, and I added about an inch worth of shims as they come down about half an inch here, and it comes down to almost zero down here. Um, on the outside here, I've done my sheeting just to protect it, and we're going to put some vinyl over this when it's all said and done. And on the top, there's going to be some glass. This is just how it looks um, when it's all open. Next thing we're going to be doing is putting in the the doors, which we just picked up. We also get the ceiling done. This is all tongue and groove, one foot by 12 feet, and it's all put together now. It's all insulated up there as well. Okay, so we finally have the 16-inch. 16 foot, sorry, doors installed. Um, as you can see, we've put them in. We started off with putting the outside doors in first and got the two middle ones. Uh, it goes right on the track. They slide open. Got a little lock in here. Slide right here. Open and close. The full span is eight foot span opening. Uh, we've also installed two small windows here, um, framed all this in nice and snug. We put some uh, flashing tape here around the bottom, got that installed. Um, so then we have these other two doors installed. So that's pretty much nice and solid there. Then we also on this wall, did the ceiling over here, put, installed a couple of lights, and we're cleaning up the electrical here. So um, that's just going to be cleaned up and sheetrock over that. And um, yeah, so that's how, how far we've come so far. But now if you look in, see all like, once we get those stairs out of the way, it's going to be not even, even nicer. Doing today is we're restaining the ceiling. We didn't like the way the first coat came out, so we're giving it another restain here. We insulated, as you can see. We get the windows up. I'm going to show you 
um, outside here. Oh, actually, we also opened up the window here in the bedroom. Just give it a little more light in here. Open that up so you can see out to the bedroom. On the outside, done is finished taping up. When we stain that also. Outside, finished done the flashing tape here. Um, all around, so that's nice and sealed. We're taking these trees down. That was a big project yesterday, and we did a little fire with it. Um, and we put some water on the rock to break up that large rock there. So this is the front of the house here. We've taped that up. What we do have is that um, cloth there to stop any snow from sitting on that little sill part there and letting the snow melt inside the house. And we cut up these trees as you can see. And that's how far we've come. Today we're working on, uh, we took the stairs out as you can see. And we did a support double 2x6 um, right here. And that's going to hold up the main structure here. And the stairs are out, so we're going to be closing these this hole up now. And uh, redoing a new hole for the new stairs we're going to be putting in, uh, which will be on a pulley system. So that's where we've come so far. And here you can just put a 2x4 to hold the weight, 2x4 to hold the weight. And that's holding all the weight now. Uh, before there was a post right here that was holding the weight. Okay, as you can see now we've opened up the ceiling here. Uh, we get doubles going all the way across these 14 foot lengths. It's going to be a nice strong for the pull down stairs. This goes all the way along. It's about almost about a 10 foot section. Um, it's going to allow about a 30 inch stair tread. As you can see we've prepped the floor now so we're going to going to be laying down the new floor, leveling the floor today. Um, that was what's underneath these current boards. Laying a brand new floor down. We've got some white burnt here. And that's going to be for going across. Some more decoration stuff upstairs. So now we can see the stairs are totally gone. And the supports is also gone uh, for the old stairs. So it's uh, coming together and we have this support right here also. All right.